Hey, hello everybody. It's me again. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to I'm going to show you how the Jetson Nano um, can connect to a PLC. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a Control Logix 5000. Um, if you're your Nano, you can use your Nano in an industrial or uh, manufacturing environment. It's a must that it connects to a PLC. So what we're going to do is this is the PLC we're going to connect to right here. And for you guys that aren't familiar with what a PLC is, it's a, a programmable logic controller. And it's basically a computer that's specifically designed to run a, a piece of equipment, like large and small. They run like switches, servo drives, they run the robots, they're, they're basically control the machine. And like on this one, this is an Allen Bradley Control Logix 5000. Um, right here, this is the processing unit, and all these cards here are for inputs and outputs and temperatures and uh, servo-driven control, and they all go out to what they're supposed to run. So that's what we're going to uh, be working on. So what we did is, in the, in the, the Nano is actually communicating over Ethernet, and it's sending... Uh, it's running a YOLO model and it's detecting what it's seeing and sending that to the PLC and uh, as you can see the yeah the, the YOLO is picking up this a sofa and it's 71 percent sure that it's a sofa so let me uh, kind of turn this around And uh, you can kind of see it sees a person and a sofa. If I can straighten this out. Okay. So, um, you know, so we got this information going in. So what do, what do we do with it? So on a, 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 a PLC, it runs like ladder logic. So I've built a little ladder logic right here. And basically what it says is says uh, if the nano sees a person and it, it sees a person and, it, it, and this matches with person it says tells it caution there's a person recognized and then what happens and all this this one here is just converting the the string <coughs> of the confidence number into a uh, integer so then if this goes true because this sees a person this goes true because this and this are the same and then it's saying hey if you're true I need a confidence level of more than 20 and then then I I agree that there is actually a person in there and then it turns this on and this actually tells the equipment to stop so I'm gonna move into the camera uh, move over so it picks me up as a person and you'll see personal come in here and then this will go on See, it sees a person. So it, it saw me, and then uh, it basically says it's confident enough that I am an actual person, and it told it to shut down the machine. So, um, you know, this is just an application, one application that the nanos could be good for. So, you know, this I'm going to put the, a link to my GitHub repo. Um, you got to have like kind of industrial software to kind of do all this. You have to have RS Logix 5000. So, so it's, this is not for you know a lot of people aren't going to be able to do this, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, we, you know, at least the the you know you built your Nano and and you got it doing things. I mean, you know, this is one way to put it to a practical use is uh, is detecting people uh, for safety. All right. I guess that's it, so, um, like I say, I'll put it all in a link to my GitHub. If you notice, if you guys have been, uh, uh, checking out my GitHub, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, so, you know, <coughs> uh, I'll have to do another one. I think it's getting too full, so. All right, thank you.